Right, we're live. And we have Granny's Cookies against the five foot, five, four foot, four, three, one, seven inch, twelve billionaires. I don't fucking know how you say it. The billionaires versus the cookies. Um, joining me today will be Head Winston and the Grumpy Nerd. We have a little four way cast. Not something I normally do, but yeah, I've got Head. Well, where were you, Teddy, eh? Where were you, eh, cunt? If you were about, maybe I would have asked you, but no. Plus, Head's only joined me for the first one. He's going to give me all of the strats. Like, literally all of your strats. Already, I've already been told how to counter you, Teddy, don't worry. Just force you to pick Quop again. Yeah, yeah, where'd you come back? Where'd you come back to that, eh? Where'd you come back? What's wrong with your Quop? Mate, you couldn't hit land if you fell from a fucking plane. It was embarrassing the amount of crop ults you missed. <laughs> you still won. Just. I was, I was told you had a bit of a talking to after the last couple of series without Thomas here. Yeah, hopefully I'll get those lads joining. I just need uh, the lobby to be set up. We're a bit behind at the moment. Yeah, it should be a decent series, I think. I actually think it'll be quite an even one as well. I don't think it'll be fairly one-sided. I don't know. I'm hoping it won't be one-sided. We might get some other guys coming in from Redstream, because, well, obviously their series just ended. Um, I'm assuming it was a 2 0 win for the Goon fellas, I think. I'm assuming they won that 2 0. I wouldn't be surprised if they drew, but I'd like to think their off lane did fairly, fairly well. But yeah, this this game tonight, we've got the uh, cookies versus billionaires, and the cookies have a stand-in, I believe. Uh, Trying to think who it is. Is that Roberta? Is it Robertus? No, who's the stand-in? They said they needed a stand-in, I think, because they asked me to stand in, but I wasn't. I was a bit late. I don't know. I don't know. I can't set it up, Notch. I can't set it up. We're waiting on... Oh, wait, it's being set up. It's being set up. Just need the password on the... Uh, shit like that. Rip Red? Why, what happened to Red? Oh, because he's no longer casting anymore. Yeah, he's uh, he's done and dusted. Which means we're going to be up Shit Creek without a paddle for next week's casting. Because we're already struggling as it is. Hey, Nutkin! You can't see it at the moment, but I'm giving you a big love heart. How'd the cast go? Was it as chaotic as you expected? Uh, 
Right. Let me introduce my co-casters for this evening. So, for one game only, we have the glorious member of Team Hmm, also known as Head Massive. Yep, I'm here, lads, don't worry. <laughs> and we also have the POS 5 with the good, the bad, the ugly, the one and only. Sorry, correction, the goon, the bad, the ugly. Uh, whoops, got to be invited. Sorry, guys, we're being a bit slow. Uh, you should have been dragged in with me. Thank think. you. Though. The end. The end. Don't worry. I'll, I'll end that one. Winston, guys. Um, <laughs> yeah, Winston. Me. Winston. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> I got invited to the lobby. I'm assuming you guys got dragged in with me. Nope. 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 No. A password. I wasn't given a password. Oh. Uh, We're off to a great start. Yep. I know. Great stuff. But yeah, we've got a. Uh, so we've got Winston in. Yeah. Head accidentally disconnected. Can you drag me back in? I can't drag you back in. Just put in the password again. I don't even know the password. I can't do shit. I don't even know the password. Just ask the password. Oh, you got this. Oh, from he got disconnected from the channel. Yeah. All right. Fucking idiot head. <laughs> Nutkin has head blocked. Uh, wait. You Nutkin has head invite, blocked. You need to invite head. I have him blocked. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Uh. I can't invite head, can I? Did someone invite me to the lobby as well? I don't know if I have the I don't have the authorization to do this. Sorry about this chat. Fucking work with amateurs. Yeah, it's uh it's a bit of a chaotic one. I know, I know, it's cause you invited me, so I came in and thought everyone was coming with me. Sorry Nutkin. <laughs> I'm back, lads. Welcome Sorry. back. So yeah. Pause five for the goon, the bad, the ugly, or Winston. And Oh god, I can't remember what position you play now, Grumpy. <laughs> god, I'm gonna have to get that back up. I'm gonna have to get the team sheet up so I can find out what that was. Well I did just say it. I so. uh I play uh pause three for uh Jeff. Do you? How's that been going? Well that's what Strats thinks. I actually play pause three for a Goomba the Ugly. <laughs> I was like, wait a second, do you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. happen. Okay. You've been playing uh, you've been playing Darks here as well? It's not too bad. Enjoying it? Oh, okay. There's your answer. <laughs> so this is gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. There's no proper casting going on. Just memeing, shits and giggles. Trying to work out who's who. Uh okay, so Jacquin Phoenix is Jonah D, I'm guessing. Got ArchD, Weebs, 40% job interview. <laughs> what a name! What a name. Spineapple and Microsoft PowerPoint, which I know is Firefox. So I'm guessing the job interview is the stand in? No, I think that's someone they changed their name. Oh, so they've actually got a full squad again. I think so. They initially asked me to stand. 
they actually asked me about two hours ago to stand in for them. Which You're obviously pretty low. The barrel must be pretty empty at that point. Oh, you have no Extremely idea. Extremely empty. You have no idea. People are asking me all the time now. It's like the second but, invite. I'm actually, that's what I mean. I'm playing tomorrow. In fact, prior to inviting soups, they normally uh, postpone the game. They tried that, but they, wouldn't, they weren't able to play it next week, so it would have been just that's a forfeit. I mean. You are the last uh, pick. I really am. I'm literally bottom of the barrel. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it should be. This should be a decent series, I think. Some pretty standard bands coming out straight away, which dug the Nature's Prophet. No Warlock. Five seconds remaining. No Warlock yet. Radiant there it is. The there it is. That bit curious. Everyone's just afraid of the basic goon sports. No, this doesn't make any sense. Granny's Cookies has first pick. Yeah. Force them to ban it, yeah. Well, maybe they don't want to pick it. That's the thing. Nah, they're they're dizzy. What are you doing? Well, bear mind, it is, it is weebs. It's weebs. They found witch doctor and warlock on first pick. I don't. You can just leave those in the pool to the last two bands before, or to this band, and then like force them to use their band slots on it. Because no one wants to play against those two heroes. They win games. But that means intelligent thinking. We know people don't do that. They just ban what they don't want to play against, not what they can pick. Then when it comes to the pick, that's when they go, oh yeah, what can we pick? Oh wait, yeah, we just banned that. Oh yeah, we banned that as well. Yeah, we banned that as well. Yeah, these mm. bans are just standard. <laughs> I don't want to play against these bans. Yeah. From you know, Granny's Cookies. Like, this is literally seven heroes that people do not want to play against at the moment. Well, six and a Grimstroke. So, are we playing against tomorrow? Oh, you play, you, uh... Oh, shit, yeah. Are we the 8 o'clock or the 11 o'clock game? I can't remember. And the first pick they went for, yeah. the Gyro. Gyro. They've won. I don't think Gyro's that good. And They're definitely not. the ODC hero. Fucking hell, wait. Is Bean billionaires? I thought Bean was... Ten seconds remaining. Dire team's turn to ban. Yeah, wait a second. There's no Storm and Eagle. There's no Eagle. Hmm. They might win. <laughs> How are they drafting? How are they laning? That's the question. Wait, Notch... Is Notch billionaires as well? He might be not thinking Savic, isn't he? Savic's uh, bad lad or something, or oh, shit, I can't remember which team. That's the Sven. I O. Do I have someone that plays I O? Oh, uh, Weebs. Him. Weebs. Ah, okay. Uh, so, what it might be worth doing is speaking to your team and the rest of the guys on. Stinky's Holy Warriors, I can't remember the team that I'm playing for, um, and just see that if their first series finishes early, to start the game against you guys early, so it doesn't go to 2 o'clock, it might be worth doing. Cause if we're done by 10, we might as well start at like 10, 10 past or some shit like that. So. Second phase. We've got Luke's four. Uh, we've probably got. Honestly, Marcy. Okay. Marcy feels really weak at the moment. Yeah. I haven't seen a good Marcy game in I don't know how long. I think on carry it's still okay, but on support it's pretty. If they do a Marcy Dawnbreaker lineup, I wouldn't mind that because I got fucking destroyed by that earlier. <laughs> yes, we did. Disruptor, I don't mind because once he has his Zags, that is a way to find that gyro. 
Yeah. So obviously Jared's gonna get a satanic, get rid of pretty much all debuffs put on him. Hopefully that'll sort that out. The classic tree. tree. You have been loving it lately. It's a very strong line. I mean, this is this is kind of Granny's game to lose at the moment. A tree gyro would be pretty tough to get on top of that. I still wouldn't mind a good old uh, Enigma pick for Granny's cookies. Or, well, for actually, no, for Bellinos at the moment. Enigma might be one of the only ways to deal with it. Yeah, because it's just. But then. That means Marcy has to go carry. Or they run. And then you got Weebs, River yeah. Claire. True. Big beefy lads, Chard getting them. Oh, Ooh, they there fucking it done it. They break did a it. Fucking cunts. And Kunker. Oh, I already hate the billionaires, the fucking bastards. Assume that's a Kunker mid. <laughs> yeah. I don't really like that Centaur pick. I don't know where that's coming from. No, it doesn't really do much because they've got the glints back. It doesn't back. do much for them. Great, they're back. You could actually pick any other hero. Should have Bristol. Yeah, Bristol. Bristol still would have done more. Yeah. The Viper's been banned out. It could have been quite strong. The PA's been banned for the break. I think the Bristol could have been better than the Centaur. Very aggressive. Quite a tanky boy. Like with PA bands, uh, Slaughter is even pretty good. Uh, so I can understand the Slaughter. I would be hesitant picking into it or picking it without knowing what their potential carry might be. But then you're not going to know that because they're going to do that last pick anyway. Which yeah. So I'd probably go for something which is going to survive regardless in lane. So much a bit hard to no, deal with. Set, Santa might just be their comfort pick, and they're happy to counter with a, a plus four that can do things. I wouldn't mind a Tide. He doesn't really give a shit about a lot of carries, a lot of melee carries. Yeah, I'm just worried if they pick up a Tide, like where, where is the damage going to come from besides Tyra? Well, pick a, a, a good Oracle game. Yeah, get Oracle in. Uh, oh. It's a good Oracle game. Primal. Oh, so is that mid primal? Probably mid primal, yeah. Okay, yeah, so there's your damage. There's your tank. What carry are you thinking for five foot five four foot three one billion what a name. I'm not saying that. Well, here's the thing, at the moment Sound like life stealer? No, so here's actually what I'm thinking. You take the Marcy carry. Okay, you take yep. hit the dawn off lane with Kunker as a four, wow. and you pick you pick Timbersaw mid, hmm. or you do it the other way. You put like Dawnbreaker mid against let's say the Primal, and you take Kunker off lane with the Timbersaw. At the moment, a Timbersaw would destroy their team so hard. Yeah. But I think I think Carrie Marcy does have legs. Because against the yeah, Jerry, yeah, she's got two of them. First at one. Five seconds <laughs> all of them have got two legs. Hey. <laughs> Failing that, the other mid I'd potentially go for would be a Necro. Because percentage HP based. Yeah. And they've got. I mean, other than mid Kunkka getting a. Uh, Finish your ban life still here. Kunkka doing the Daedalus build. I'm yeah. struggling to see how they kill the Gyro. No, they've got no damage at the moment. Well. I can punish it early game um, with obviously the Marcy Dawnbreaker. I, I don't think they can punish it with Treants. Oh, you, de uh, you definitely armor. can. You definitely with the can. With armor and the two slows <laughs> that he puts down, I think that Jarrow's really safe. 
No, not nope. Yeah, it's just hide behind tree and it'll be fine. There's completely fine. There is so much damage that Marcy and Dawnbreaker can put out between the two of them. You you leap in with the Marcy, toss back into a Dawn Slow, into the spinny hammer stun. Jar has not got the speed to get away. That's yeah, a, it, a good tree and protector stops this. Yeah, yeah, tree and protector with the roots, the nature's grass, just slow, and he just walks away. I think. What they? Well, he's, got not, he's, chase, he's got no. Move. He's got no disabled tool six. Well, lich seed plus. Uh, but grass the armor's super is strong. Remember, insane. it's a lot of slow. Yeah. It's, I reckon and Ma Marcy and Dawn would quite easily take that. I reckon they would. We'll find out in a minute. Do you want to bet? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got no money. I'm paying for like Leave three fucking the households at the moment. <laughs> Troll. 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 Okay. Here we go. What, what did they pick, guys, to uh... Good lord. This is what are they throw. doing? Wait, so is that support what gyro? They're throwing. Support gyro. Just throwing. They're trolling. This is support. They're, they're throwing. They're not throwing. The game hasn't started. You can't throw a game that hasn't started. You can throw a draft. Like you can troll. Yeah. I don't think they've thrown because the gyro. And they literally. No, they, they, ha they have yeah. trolled. They yeah, quite literally. <laughs> I think it's still. I think it's still good. Yeah. Like that draw. You just get a satanic and gyro. I think this is a scary lineup to play no, against. Draw beats gyro in a one v one matchup. I think. Radiant with uh, Dawnbreaker here and Nakunka Ram is going to be quite hard to beat if they get their fight uh, team fight off. Yeah, I'm liking the team fight from Radiant. Yeah, Kunka, Kunka Ram into Dawnbreaker here. Like this, this draft, they picking Troll has ruined it, and this is Radiant's game to lose now. I actually prefer this draft personally. I, th I, I don't know how they get. How do they get on the Drow with Disruptor then? Yeah. yeah. It's, uh, that, I don't see their catch. No, you get blink, got... you get blink BKB on troll, and that's gonna be a jump on her. Yeah, well. I... Plus you got stampede. Plus you've got tree anti for really get a blink you root. Got... You got primal beast Trip charge. You got uh, wave when you yeah, get his shard. That's what yeah. the wave's gonna be good this game. There's counters on both sides, so there are ways to get on her. But there's also ways to get her away. Yeah. I think the uh, the the eggs for Kunga could be very good here. Yeah, it should be a great one, because there's a lot of melee. Yeah, we could be very, very good here. I don't know, as Troll, I don't want to be spending all that money on a blink. I don't know, it doesn't feel great. You don't want to, but if it's your only option of getting on top of her, you sort of take it. Yeah, they sort of, but they sort of draft themselves into a corner. <laughs> so. Oh, look at that Marcy skin. Where is it? That's so sad. <laughs> Why are they all tipping him? Fucking weeb, Ma Marcy. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna have a potential oh, battle down here. Revealed immediately. Oh, Notch scouts it out, but out come the axes. Notch dies for this, I think. Oh, oh they missed nice. The I think mean, that's the first issue they're going to run into with the Traptor Circle. Oh, this is, this might this can apart, quite yeah. easily turn nasty. R Radiant is so afraid though. They are. I feel like they could have got the Primal there. That's a lot. Yeah, it's a 100%. lot of beef, that's the thing. That's what they're afraid of, because it's a very tanky lineup. Hmm. The only squishy one is the Gyro. They should have went together again, they can kill this guy. It'll be a 2 for 2 trade, I think. Oh, maybe a three for one. Cause it looks like Weebs ain't gonna be able to fight that. Oh, oh, it's D. Is it still gonna be first blood? Wow. Oh, go oh for the bloody rune. Bleak got it. Just a little bit of harass here. Nobody's dropping yet. Arch D getting a bit low, but nope, just gonna walk away. And we go to our lanes. Our lovely lanes. Where we have. Jacqueline Phoenix on oh, the Dark Ranger. Guessing that's Jonah. Pretty sure it's Jonah. Oh, we have Knock UK on Disruptor. Mr. LDC on the horrible, horrible Marcy set. 
<laughs> Bean as a stand-in for Mankaf, wrapping the Kunker mid. And lastly, Bleak Giant on the Dawnbreaker. Wait, that's Re Wait, it's Reg? We've got Sir Reg as the Drow. I think that's what Silas saying. Yeah, it's Reg. Okay, so it's actually Reg. Didn't know that. Who wants to give the introduction to Dyer's team? I'm guessing oh, nobody because you just want to be sitting here to chat rather than actually do any casting. So, RSD <laughs> on the Primal Beast in mid. <laughs> we have Big Weebs on the Tree Protector. Lobertus on the Troll Warlord. We have Spineapple repping the Centaur Wall Honor. And to finish it off, Mux of PowerPoint aka Foxfall on the Support Gyro. So, what have you guys seen so far? Anybody seen anything happening? There's a, a lack of balls in this game. Yeah, both, both playing very effective. Well, they banned out the IO. Sorry, puns are allowed on my channel. You can't even screw me for it. <laughs> even if they're bad puns. Oh, I only just got it. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> slow. <laughs> well. <laughs> well, looking. Yes. Yeah, they're trying to harass out Weaves, but he's got an early point in Living Armour, so he's not really going to do much there. If Centaur's just going to have a free lane, it looks like, at the moment. Don't like Which the fact he... really he... shouldn't be able to do... Same the with the Drow. The Drow should have a free the lane. The Drow should be absolutely dominating this. Yeah, yeah. Shouldn't, should, how are they ever going to get to the Drow? Troll and Trouble Top. Him. That's the support gyro there. Yeah. <laughs> what? Utter wank. <laughs> I'm sorry, but if they're gonna run support gyro, you run it as a four, not as a five. Oh, fine bot. Oh god damn it. They're on the uh they're on the drought. Yeah, red should it's be fine, yeah. yeah. Blood grenade does oh, hit. Oh careful weebs, careful weebs, don't weebs dive die. here. Weebs, dies weebs is here. dead. Oh, oh, what a turn. oh I'll take that, I'll take that any day of the week. That's solo XP for Spineapple. When did they change Centaur can move when he's stumping? Um, recent patch, wasn't it? That's major. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's quite recent. I thought it looked a bit odd. You don't have don't you teetles me, chat. I'll fucking ban your ass. That's a better trade for offlane, bot. It is. Definitely. Well, Arch D's sort of starting to get a little bit bullied now in mid. He might actually drop here if he's not careful. No, he's fine. He does have a little bit of a bottle to get him back up. So yeah, the driver build, if you're running support, you don't get flat cannon, ever. Like, Maybe it's a misclick. Possibly. Still unforgivable. Yeah. Um, there's two ways around it. Against this lineup, I would be maxing homing missile, because you're going to be fighting in the middle of things. You don't want to be maxing rocket. Fight top, Master's about to drop. Yep. It is. You can't really... F well, you can fight, can't man yeah. fight this troll. Yeah. Jaro went down first, obviously. We missed that. I'm not sure if anyone said anything about that. We did. We were watching it. We like to let the uh, game speak for itself, you know, because <laughs> no one here can play by play. <laughs> Oh, so that's been a tree and is useless in lane honestly against the drow. Marcy's gonna rotate mid, try and help out uh Conker here. See if they can get something. Uh does nothing. Just, does nothing. Living armor's <laughs> on the primal. Oh uh, he's fine then. If you stand under the tower you get more regen. Weebs, Weebs is on top of it. Yeah, so being just pushing out the wave a bit. Probably gotta look at Farming the jungle early. Pretty even mid, to be fair. It is. Well, it's pretty even across the board. Even if we look at like off lanes, 15 15 each, both with six to nice. Really disappointing it, like, performance yeah. from this dry. What do you think you could be doing more? Way more. I, I, they shouldn't even be able to get close to her, right? Yeah. I've never played Drow, so. I'm not no, is that just like a positioning problem? Or. Um, positioning and a bit of skill build. Um, Mentality. 
<laughs> so against Centaur at the moment, you definitely want a level value point in Gush. The shop's is about to go down. Oh no, beautiful. That's a beautiful that field. A beautiful clinic field. Yeah, a value point in Gust does wonders against this lineup just because they want to get in close enough to actually do their spells and we just predict it. Oh, might still go oh, down. Oh, back lines. Is it going to be a trade? I'm not. Oh. That's yep. just good play from Weaves. Very nice. Yeah, it is, predicting it. They think he got a ward there. Oh. Bean with the what the fuck. Yeah, I don't Probably know what happened there. Is this game past the watershed? Yeah, you can swear as much as you want. What does that mean? Past the watershed? I've never heard that before. No, have I. What's the 9pm thing in the UK? How have you guys not heard that? <laughs> no. Well, uh, in fairness, like they're going to have a watershed in Australia. What? Uh, he's done. <laughs> that is true. Oh, up top. PowerPoint getting low. So is Robertus. You guys should remember rec Robertus, Medusa. No, <laughs> the gun for mid. That's like that's my nom. <laughs> he playing against Robertus, Medusa. Yeah, they're not. It's very difficult. TP coming in bottom. Oh TP coming in bottom. I think this is a dead weebs. It is. What? And this might be. This, this is gonna be a dead. Uh, really gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. Not I wish Tree at some point. This is really nitpicky, but like I wish Tree did. Leech Seed instead of Living Armor. Very nice that's, rotation. That's a really great rotate. Yeah. It is. So yes, I would like a point in Leech Seed because it is very, very strong. Living armor I would like the draw to open the shop and I start mid. <laughs> it feels way too passive. It feels like I'm going to let the... You sort of need to out-harass this um this Disruptor and you can as Treant. Unless unless the draw is buying a Hyperstone, um, this is a misplay. Midas, maybe? No, it doesn't even have the uh, gloves. Might be going for the recipe first, given the money she's got. Yeah, nope, nope, going straight to the Dragon Age. Okay. Waiting to buy it out in full. Never do it. Get the parts as soon as you can. Because it's going to give you advantage in lane. At the moment, you can't do anything to send to at the moment. Because you're just going to hurt yourself more. Oh, I hate the return build. I hate these return builds. They're so passive. Against the drive, it, the re return build is going to do nothing. Stacking bot. They're going for a, trying to go for a kill on drought. I mean, all he's, he's got to do is get in range up. and rock it, and that's a kill. They're going to dive on the, the tower. She yeah. She's dead. She's dead. Oh. Let's go that return damage. Oh, Robertus Very is effective. down here as well. Here. Is any rotations going to come in? Nope, they're just leading him to die. <laughs> Robertus okay. under a tower. What the um, fuck? Questionable double edge there, but not still going to fall. And this should be a tier 1 going down as well. I think the uh, Kunker could well, have done a lot there. L LBC, and LBC, the LBC is making his way down, so is the Kunker. I think this could be really massive. Yeah. TP's coming in. This is, this Lovely is boat coming in. Beautiful what boat. A oh, boat. Four wow. man. Oh, this should be a. That was so satisfying. Are they going to finish people off? Jamie doesn't have Tidebringer on and using it. And Marsh yeah, is we need tidy some up. clean up. We need clean up on Iowa 3. Yep. Very nice. Really Big Weeby's popping the smoke to try and escape. Lost the tower, which is the map control against a uh, tree you don't want to lose. Does Bean realize he can right click the uh, Tidebringer? And auto cast it? Probably. But. He had it on autocast earlier. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, you don't, you don't always want it fine. on autocast. No, I, yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, they didn't lose it. They haven't lost the tower yet. This looks my be No, nah, Dawn should be okay. Yeah. Not enough damage. They could have yeah. stacked that. They could have just. I think they could have killed her with primal or uh, pulverized her. And there's no stacked living armor. With the ult. No living armor coming yeah. out. So it's got, it is a 25 second cooldown. What's Disruptor doing? Dead Disruptor. That's a, that's a good ult. Oh, that's a... Okay, but... Be... And the, the backup. Here. Yep. This should be a dead Reggie. Yep. Yeah, Reggie's dropped. 
Oh, they got a return now on the gyro, and they're going to get a return on Spine Apple. Storm. That is a questionable. That's a ballsy double storage. edge. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> He's got bigger Never balls. Again. Oh. oh, he got, uh, he got punished. Well. Yep. Should have seen that coming. <laughs> Should have seen that coming. Tip that would have been a tip. Him. Yeah. That would have been a tip from me. <laughs> I admire the balls. I spank myself. Oh, that's nice. Keep it to yourself. Come on, super. This Wait, ain't that PG. Whose name's that? I'm PG. It's Who? Grumpy Nerds, I assume. Is it yours, Grumpy? Sorry, what? Is your username I spank myself? Can you keep it to yourself, please? <laughs> hey, just because I spank myself doesn't mean nobody else oh, can. Big boat. That's yeah, a good, good boat, but troll alt. It's just not enough lockdown. It's not. Two of them can't do it on their own. And Bean's about to fall and for I this. I think he dies for this. Oh, <gasps> so he's dead. No, he's I not. Can this. He's not dead. He walks Don't away. is extremely tanky already. Oh, that's a Marcy. Yet again. That's a good ult. Luckily, they got the support for Jaro um, coming in clutch there. <laughs> He's doing work, I tell you. Doing absolute work. <laughs> what else we got Ooh. going on here? Let's uh, have a look at Netware, shall we? Okay, so we've got Bean on top. And we've got. Three cores of Dyer following closely behind. Going for him. Yeah, I'm not sure what that's a, the right play. Cast. No, you don't Bring kill him. him. Going. Why'd you stop? Keep going. Yeah, keep going. Yeah, they got X, they got X. Nice. Yep. Yep, yep. A nice yep. combo, but do they still have enough? Oh, we? Yeah, there we go. Good ult. Nice. Jabbling. He was waiting for it. He was just waiting until he cast it. That was a good play by Disruptor. Well, you could, yeah. didn't have to, I suppose. Yeah, you I, silence I, I reckon he was waiting to see if he could hold it. I think you're giving Disruptor more credit than he's due. Yeah, I think he was trying to hold it back as long as he could. Not because to get the right timing, but he just didn't want to use it. But they were oh. worried that they didn't have enough there, and he was going to get away. I think this is a dead shawl top. He has all. He has all, yeah. There could be two. There's one. Nice, two nice. deaders. Oh, but the creeps tank it. There you come, Centaur. Being body blocked. Out the way. Being body blocked. Out fucking time. Stampede. Still no. Oh, oh there's the stun. Can... There we go. We'll the Finally, kill. Primal Beast turns up. Says no, thank you. They're trading the kills mid though. Yeah, I'm gonna trade kills here potentially. Is he gonna boat? Yeah, there it is. But you don't mind that. That's your off lane for. A support. Or not over yet, though. Okay, it might Go be an offlane for a couple of supports. If there's no rotations, but B might drop as well at this rate. Right? He's not careful. Yep. He's got the ult up. Here comes the smash and bash because they didn't have anything left to stop it. I think he should have went armlet first. I like armlet on. Oh, he's going to drop for the return though, because Reg came straight through. Took down the tower first. This is turning out to be a good game so far. It's quite even. Yeah, it is. Know. Which means it's going to be a late night. Fuck! Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Fuck! That's us, niggas! <laughs> what, uh, what items would you guys be looking for here on, like, Kunker? Mid Kunker? Yep. Personally, uh, I wouldn't go uh, the Blade Mail. I would have went um, Armlet. Um, Blade Mail is a bit of a funky one. Especially with the Dawnbreaker and your RAM, you survive so long. So I can understand the armlet because there's a lot of uncontrollable damage coming out from Dyer. With like your, your Primal Beast, all his AoE, um, Centaur to a certain point, double edge. And the... But I wouldn't say there's enough there for to warrant it. It's not like you're up against a Juicer. Um, probably... Straight Ags. Because an early Ags this yeah. game does work. And then Smoke up, looking for some people in the Radiant Jungle. Yeah, but find they're finding anyone. nothing. Just Which would be a good, usually a good play. Um, yeah. But this draw is just 
just choosing to fight at the moment. Yeah, that she sh she should not be pushing with her team. Just fuck off to the jungle. She should be, but she's not getting punished for this. She's actually being rewarded. Um, she's sort of being punished because she's not getting a lot of XP out of this. Here we go. They're all TP and it could be a big team fight. They know they're coming. Oh, they found Weebs. And they got a silence off. Tiff. Oh, Weebs is out. Didn't get off his ult. And there goes the gyro. Who That's did just nothing. devastating. I think they exit here. Radiant have won this one. I think the troll needs to get out of here quick. I don't think he can. He's going to have to pop his ult. Is there any follow up? Quite oh, he's, he's on him. Oh, oh, he's he's exiting back. back. <laughs> <laughs> you love to see it. They might get a return. Maybe, if they're lucky. Or they might all just die here. One by one. I think this is Mancaps to lose. Not Mancaps, sorry, not Mancaps. You know what I mean. I do know what you mean. The billionaires. Oh, they got one back. They got two. Everybody else? No, just the two. They, they changed the... Tidal Wave, didn't they? So it doesn't disarm anymore. They did. I do love Tidal Wave. Such a fun but skill. That, that is just, that's a 2k gold swing this early. Too, too much to handle at the moment. That was a massive fight. They shouldn't have TP'd in yet until the rest of their cores come in. The Primal no. should have initiated. Yeah. I think they saw it as we've got we've got some skills we can fight. But at the moment these I three the I think you gotta exit here. Uh, yeah, these yeah, three should not be hanging cold. about. You get the fuck out. <laughs> like this Treant hasn't even got his meteor hammer yet. This is this is worrying. This uh, troll needs some space. Gyro's getting some farm, guys. Straight into the. Sh yep, you expect the Agnum Shard. Yeah. And the Glimmer Cape. I think the Dire can win this. We do have a hold. blink on. If they, if they give mid. the troll like 10 minutes of space. Oh, Marcy about to drop. I think the troll, get can, troll well? can get the. Yeah, troll's gonna kill here Should mid. Get out of there. This was it. Yeah, uh, Troll's on top of dry. Good silence. But this dry's dead. Lovely. That's three. They're gonna get the four, they're gonna go for Bean. They got the charge off, yep. Nice. <gasps> the tier one token on the floor. Did Bean just drop that deliberately? Whose tier one token was that? Oh, is he gonna get away? Tidal wave. There's there a... it is! <laughs> oh, slow. Oh, big tidal wave. Have... out, nice. There's the charge. Oh, oh <laughs> that's unlucky. That's unlucky. No, but this di this dire team, they need to give the troll me 10, 15 minutes. We'll out farm this draw and yeah. come out of it. Probably he's, the strongest here in the game. He's now got his battle fury, so he should be able to do that. Yeah, he's he already about. Time. He's already a thousand up on the draw. It's really worrying. Okay, so it's Arch D's token. <laughs> That's what Joe's getting a hurricane pike yep. instead of a manta. Oh, there's oh, the meteor. That's meteor hammer reveal. That's Drow gonna die. Oh, and there goes well. Lost as well. Hammer reveal. And Luke doesn't Definitely even get a return. Worth. No return kill. Oh, Steve's just gonna walk away back to base. This is turning out to be a cracking game, boys. <laughs> I swear to God, this goes late. It's going to be like one of those 70 minute I games, isn't it? It's going to go late. Do you tend to watch a lot of paint dry? Me? No, I heard. Nope. I think it's a good game. Oh. Arch D still fighting on 7 HP. There he goes. He drops. Beautiful boat from oh. Bean. Takes out two. And he's going to get the tidal wave to bring back Bean. There's the X. And there's the torrent. Is it a torrent? I can't remember what it's called. It is torrent. Hey, I don't like. Bean's really pulling up, holding this, holding this team together. You can see why Mancat are doing well. Mm. Uh, five foot billionaires are complete trash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of a slog fest. This one, Tormentors are up now. So I wonder if he's going to get the first one. Who would you want the shard to go on? If you're thinking of your team right now, players I think that don't the, have shards. The Treant shard is really good. That's just a really good setup for fights. What's the Treant one? Nature's Guys or the Invis? It's the Root. Is it the Root? It's yeah, both. it gives you a Root on the first attack coming out of Invis. It's pretty nice.
Okay. What's the invis? Is that just the talent? Or is that no, now? It's the as, it's the That's shard as well. Oh, okay. It's a really, it, it's pretty important for tree. There's no way they kill this bloke. I don't know. They got the follow up. They definitely kill her. They got plenty of damage. Plenty of burst. So they're about to trade, trade towers. I want to see a magic build centaur. Why is no one doing it? Yeah, I wonder why. It's legit. It does shit loads of damage. Like the damage for it is ridiculously high. You don't realise it. <laughs> yeah, we've got shards in the the Jower and the Dawn. I think the tran transport is shard now as well. What's the draw on Glacier? Not draw, yeah, Dawnbreaker. That's me, sorry. So, who would get one? Thunderstrike? Dawnbreaker's got that magic immunity. You see the Ags coming out for, um... Junker now, so... I think... Here we go. Well, that's not really a great person to initiate and throw all your spells on, or miss all your spells on. But they did it anyway. Uh, it's just a whole lot of damage that it is, but there's a Dyer can't turn this around. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Where's, Dyer just can't where's the, the troll? Where is the troll warlord? He's chasing a drow ranger. He's like spending his so entire so time chasing a drow ranger. If he stayed in the fight, the main fight, he could have got a lot more. Oh, Roberto's gonna outplay him here. He saw it coming. Oh, can you get a two man? Oh, <laughs> RSD taking names. Being the only person to get away. And there is the Troll top net worth. That's where he should stay for a while now. Troll now getting BKB. Pretty important pickup. Now that you've seen the Kunkka Args. Or do they just go straight for Roche? They only got the strength at the moment. And you know a lot of the cooldowns are down for Radiant, so they can't really fight you. That being said, Boat comes straight back up, because it's a ridiculously low cooldown for what it does. Marcy, also about to finish a BKB. Okay, Luke's just building as a core. Basically, Luke's no, no, this, this is what you do on, on, on the Marcy Sport. You build a, a BKB, and it lets you disrupt. This. BKB coming on Centaur and Troll next item. Yep. And Primal next item. I think that's the priority against this uh, yeah. Torrent Storm. Torrent Storm and the Disruptor. Until Disruptor gets Ags, which is what you ideally want. So I'd be saving up my money for that, because that would be a big game changer as soon as they pop that. Uh, yeah, you know, we, so it's we just need to see this with this top fight. They love pushing this tower. They do, they love dying for it as well. Yeah. Because <laughs> now if I was Radiant, I'll just TP all back and say, yeah, what are you going to do now? We have Aegis. Got Aegis, yeah. Yeah, come fight me. Oh, that's Oh, goodbye. what a wave. That's a glimpse. Burgess sent right back to Rooshpit. Now you fight. Yeah. That's how you do it. But he's coming in the back. So if they hang about, it's still going to be a 5v5. Who's, uh, who's casting plays game tonight? Uh, the Wogan winners one. Yeah. Uh, Ted. Don't know if he's doing game two or not, but he was doing game one. Good tidal wave. It is. Oh, there's a static storm. But Dyer will be happy with that. Doesn't really offer much in the team fight. Oh no, they got Bean. Beautiful tidal wave again, but Spineapple jumps over the not, top. Not just playing over skin right now. He Very is. Nice. Oh, what a... Oh, beautiful Marcia. Marcy, Dawn ult, just into the double hammer, this could be two top. Spine up will be next, Arch D trying to get out. Yep, there's no supports here for Dyer, where are they? This disruptor is just doing so much work. It is, they're just Same controlling the too well. But, the back lines, they do finally get to them, here comes, oh no, they're going to run away, they're not choosing to fight. Weaves has come in, Meteor Hammer onto one. Might take down Reggie here, Reggie's dropped. Yeah. Bean's got to be careful, he's a troll hunting his ass, along with the weebs. There's the slow. 
or choosing not to fight into the blade mail. And I'm getting a dry mouth. Fucking hell. Stop fighting, guys. <laughs> yeah, give us a break. <laughs> They're gonna have root trouble locking down this troll once he gets BKB. Yeah, until. Well, until. Uh, Disruptor gets BKB, they're not gonna have any way to deal with him. He's just gonna jump on you and kill you. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is actually the level of weebs that we were worried about. Competency. Yeah, so in previous weebs games, he's been so trolly, it's ridiculous. But in this game, he's actually playing like a proper support. Yeah, it's been great. Like, the shutting down the drow, so many fights, it's... Because that's the drow, you've got this great team control on your team. Um, I mean, like... Uh... You want to be like standing back, just hitting people, but uh, yeah, to Triant's credit, just getting on top of the drow. It's been great. And they're going to take Tormentor. They are going to take the enemies first and probably TP back for those. Or they're going to take the tier 1 after, tier 2 from it. I would suggest they take tier 2 and then maybe TP back afterwards. There's not really much they can do to stop them at the moment. It's time to come away with this. Or being being caught out, but beautiful boat. This could go. be Roberta stopping. Oh, there gets beautiful oh, off time. Sure yep, yeah, Weaves in the middle, about to drop though. Roberta is throwing out a lot of damage, but he's not getting any health back. He's gonna drop. Spineapple jumps in, but just falls. RHD forced to run away. Gyro doing nothing. Oh, Luke, you didn't, shouldn't have gone there. Didn't need you to. Taking a lot of time to kill him, but kill him they will. That's what I was saying about the Dawn, dawn Breaker ult. Yeah, and the rum, very, very strong. Yeah, they've got so many ways to just sustain through the actual well, troll the, ult. The rum is just insane anyway, but the Dawnbreaker ult is especially strong with it. Yeah, I think once the Stry has Ags, you want to be taking those fights more. These long, prolonged fights, because you they're not the troll's going to not be able to regen as much. Obviously, you're, well, all we, the health regen you have from uh, we saw that, yeah, that fight. Centaur. He did nothing. He took he regen nothing at all while ulting. Yeah. Frost Arrows is going to be pretty strong here. And that'll be out in about 200 gold. So by 29 minutes, that's decent timing. Not the best, but it's decent as well. Beans nearly got the heart. 50 gold off. Just wants to be a tank. Yep, uh, they didn't TP back, but they got forced back and they're going to take the Tormentor. Foxhall might die for it though, if he's not careful. The graph is all over the place. <laughs> oh god, do we look at the graph? Oh my look god, the what the like hell? EKG. It's a, it's a been a good game. That was like my EC. That that was literally my ECG when I collapsed. I think the blade of Alacri on the uh, Drow Ranger could be swapped in instead of one of the Iron branches, personally. But no, nah, no, she's nah. gonna get a BKB anyway. Uh the Ags. You, so. you don't think so? Well, she's gonna, well, she's gonna get the Ags. It's on its way out. Yeah, but we're going into a fight right now. Well, she got it. There he goes. There's the Ags. Perfect timing, but just it's... doing work. Yeah. Too much damage. Troll does have BKB, but not enough. They I think they can't it. take these fights piecemeal against this team. I think the uh, the the Kunkers doing a lot of work with the Torrent Storm, personally. Yeah. Oh, look at that Dry coming out with the most damage in that fight. So I yeah. think yeah, this is this is I feel like where it turns when this this drow is kind of online now, and if they're able to like keep her alive during these fights. See, I think this is a misplay by Dyer more than anything. So they did they get jumped there or did they try and fight? They tried to fight. Right, so that, that was the misplay because you're trying to fight as two, you should be grouping up as five. When you've got global heroes and so many repositioning heroes, you can't afford to just go as two. Or one for Drew in the in the middle. Yep. Call out. Yeah, there is a point to be made here. Uh, five foot on billionaires are sobering up. They did a, a lovely job for so for people that uh, blew them off. Soups, huh? Saying they're <laughs> shit. They're doing a very nice job here. The billionaires, they are shit. They got Luke. <laughs> that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> I just love flaming Luke. Oh, okay. 
Flaming Luke's like me, Flaming James. Don't mean anything, just me like, I like Flaming him. To be fair, I think Bean is doing a lot of work for their team right now. Bean is carrying hard. But I wouldn't put it past anybody to throw. Bean we oh, know is so. a troll. Bean we know is a bit of a troller. Bleak is probably seven points in, so bring up. I think the uh, they've been taking too many fights as Granny's cookies. They should have let the troll warlord farm with the um, the battlefield. Yeah, yeah. That's what they should have done. Just defended basically and let the troll farm. Agreed. Yeah, they've how many thousand times have you died? How, has he died? Has now got a only a seven second BKB. This is rough. Oh no! So sad. It's primal. Just like you can't do anything I think that, that is game. That probably is, unless we're going to get a lot of buybacks, but even then, I don't think it's going to be enough. The gyro is being dove. Do they have any detection? I oh, don't think it matters, they don't care. They're just going to wait for you to come out. Bleak might drop here if he's not careful to the tower damage. He's dead. Yep, Bleak does drop. Meanwhile, Crazy. meanwhile. I'd love the support item for the disruptors. Troll, meanwhile. The he's nearly got the tier 3 down. Two TPs, but. Three TPs? He's just going to run away. And there's nothing to stop him. Good, good He's out. By the troll. Good play by the troll. Great play. And that tier three from Dio is just gonna be healed if up. If we, if we look at net worths, keeping them in the game with Troll Warlord, ratting them. I, I don't, don't like this. Just yeah, I'll go to items. farm. He's don't, made some space for himself. Don't in, don't give Lama and don't give a uh, Grumpy and Winston flashbacks. Yeah. Why? What happened? Robertus, <laughs> split pushing, splitting the map. Running around them. Not on me. <laughs> <laughs> They've had to deal with this before. They know it's not fun. <laughs> now Disruptor's getting boots of bearing. Why? Oh, Why? No, he should, I not think the... he should be definitely rushing the Ags here. I think the Phylactery nice. is a troll. Not just definitely trolling with that Phylactery build. Um, that is just a waste of money. So bad. Just get a support item if you, like... Or just rush eggs like phylactery. Yep, that is literally a. What the fuck? It is pointless. I mean, I can't talk too too much shit because I have also done this in a game. But maybe right, he thinks he's so far ahead that he is, is warrants it. But what's the cooldown on oracle spells? Um, well, I'm not trying to say they're it. all good idea. Target, but... Yeah, but they're all very. Okay, we no, see RT drop. Gyro going to drop with it. But... Vision. Yeah, there it yeah, is. Yeah, they got detection. He's, that's never one. But Oracle spells are a lot of cooldown that you can literally yeah, spam Flactory off. Yeah. yeah. Whereas... Just They're just all dying. Cooldown is yeah, it's a dying really cool. stupidly. Uh, like, they are... Oh... He's dead. No, he's not, because BKB oh, was BKB still on. But that again... Two deaths for... Troll's about to get waved out. Probably, yeah. Uh, Bean's waiting for, for one him. BKB. There it is. Oh, there's the Ags. Don't like it if you're gonna run away. You wanted to use that to fight, but he's not have a choice. No, uh, no Weave's BKB. about to drop though. Yeah. Yep. This is it. There's no buybacks on three of them. This is GG. This should be Rax at they least. They died silly down the mid lane when they didn't need to. This could be two lane of Rax. They can't get bot lane because they haven't taken the tier one there yet. But Tor's just getting shipped on so quickly. Yep. Drow's online. BKB's coming out. No, hit buildings. Hit buildings. Where are you Objectives, going? guys. They wanna f they wanna potentially throw. And throw they shall. Oh, no, because nobody's dying. Nobody's dying. Fucking hell. I think the uh, they did not start the game off well with the gyro fort. They got no buybacks. No That's reason GG. for anyone to I'm walk away. I'm going to give my MVP to the person that calls it on Dire. We don't do MVPs. We don't do LVPs. Not on this I channel. I do. Uh, Beam was the MVP for me. Yeah, you know? nope. Beam Honestly, been nope. For me. We do not do it on this channel, especially during the charity event. 
Okay, we don't do MVPs, but the best player in this game was Bean. <laughs> I will agree, Bean played out of his mind this game. <laughs> I, yeah, I think Notch, up until the Flark Tree, was, was probably my, my uh, favourite player. There's the GG. Oh, oh the GG amazing. is the troll. <laughs> Rough one for the uh, the Granny's cookies. I think everyone blew the five foot four three five free roll off uh, too soon. Yes, that's my attempt. Oh, no, we knew it was going to be a close series. I just like shit talking the billionaires because one, it's an eagle stack. We're still about eagle this time, and it's an LDC stack. If I can get any excuse to shit talk LDC, I will. But if we actually look at the Post game details. Everyone did over 10k, so that's a positive. Uh, damage wise, Bean clearing yeah. head and shoulders above everybody. Unexpectedly, yeah. LVP, Jaru. I mean, expectedly. I mean, no, <laughs> no LVP. Okay, the worst player. I will player ban on you from the this worst chat. player in the game. No, Jaru. that was a bad draft. What he had, he didn't do too badly with it. Ooh! Alright, Spineapple. Calm down, calm down. Okay. Yeah, it's hard It's hard to fault. Like, yeah, there's only so much you could do on Gyro uh -oh. there. It's just, yeah, the, the pick isn't great. I think it was, uh, I I think think it was, it was a good, good game. They, yeah. I think Dive threw it a little bit, personally. I think the uh, as soon as they got the Battle Fury on the troll, they should have let him farm and defended. Also, they, they lost a big team fight. I can't remember where it was, about 15 minutes in, under tier 2, when two of their supports died straight away before their cores got there, so... Mm. I think... That's quite a big turning point. I think it could have been much worse for Dyer. Because realistically, the safe lane could have been dumped a lot harder, given it was a gyro support. Um, and if there is a massive skill discrepancy between the two teams, you would expect the billionaires to slaughter every lane. But as we saw, it was fairly even. There were just a couple of team fights which maybe Granny's Cookies took too early before they had their items. They didn't realise when they weren't as strong, whereas the billionaires did, and they just pushed that fact. Who would you have, uh, who would you have liked to see? Um, instead of the gyro pick, I don't so, have to say anything. <laughs> well, if it's a pos five against that sort of lineup that likes to get in close, Lich wouldn't have been a bad pick. Lich would have been nice, yeah. Nice bit of armor which helps mitigate the drow's damage. Warlock got banned, which doctor got banned, right? Yep, because they banned that themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait. I think you said the uh, Enigma would have been alright, didn't it? I think you give Weebs uh, oh. Rubik. I see some timeout rewards being used. Why? Oh, for the GG easy. No, uh, so basically I've got a reward in my channel. 1,000 points and you get to time somebody out for a minute. Oh. So... Is our, no there's one. I can't count the minute, but that's close enough. Where's the other one? Where's the other one? Uh, Madge, Madge, Madge. I've got, to I've got to hunt them down. I've got to hunt them. Uh, I think the snap would have been a better pick than the jar, honestly. There we go. Close enough. Snap. See, I'm not a fan of snap support. Yeah, it's better than jar, surely. Come on. It is. But it's more case, for me, snap support just feels like it just doesn't do anything. It's It feels way too passive. Um, I think the AA could have been alright as well. Cause they had a lot AA would have been yeah. nice, but I think, I think give Weebs a Rubik. Yeah. If you stand An ironic troll. And put the tree as pos 5. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you could have done that. You could put the tree as pos 5 and then you could have done a better as pos 4. Potentially like your yeah. spirit breakers, even go greedy, like your 
Enigmas. You could. We can probably pick up your Chen or your. I think the Tusk would have been alright. Yeah, the Tusk would have been great. Save him from the. Uh, save five? From the boat. No, 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 not as a five. Definitely not. Put the tree in as a five and put him as a four and save them from the boat and the Dawnbreaker ult and things. Just snowball. I love a Bane. I don't, maybe this is coming playing a lot of Bane, but. Instead of a gyro. I am gonna take a quick uh, beer break. Yep. Well, we are on a little break while we wait for the last person to join the lobby. It's just Weebs who's setting the unassigned players at the moment. But it looks like Bleak is pretty hammered at the moment. Wow. That's always good. <laughs> Gonna grab a drink. It's probably the Goonfellas poster. Hang on, let me find it. Let me find it. Uh, I need to scroll up for that. Who did they have in their team? Dawnbreaker, Kunker. Who else was it? Uh, I was thinking a, a an Enchantress. Yeah, Enchantress would have been pretty decent. I think about Enchantress quite a lot. Uh, say that again. <laughs> what? Fuck's sakes. <laughs> He's being a cringe. I didn't, I didn't hear it. He said he thinks about Enchantress a lot. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking fair fairies. Enough. So let's have a look. Let's just remove those. And put it up here. Let's have a look at the Goonfellas poster. There will be uh, game two coverage by Matt Twister. Um, Fuck size, just got to make it the right size. There we go. So this is the Goonfellas poster. Of course there's going to be Game 2 coverage. I cover everything I can. As long as I'm here, there will be a game. Oh, nice. Why do they get a poster? Because they created a poster. What the fuck? Yeah, they created it themselves. Uh, this is uh, very well organised. They've got too much time on their hands. Do any of them go to work? I don't think so. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Claps is in chat 24-7, so I don't think they do. <laughs> and we are into the draft of game two. Right, lads, that's where I'm going to love you and leave you. Yep. I've got to go. Thank you for joining, Head, as always. That's been wonderful. Kisses. Send him my love, Head. Have a, have a good evening. And you, mate. You sound like you're ecstatic for game two, um, especially after that. No, I've cracked up and I've cracked up in the alcohol now. Ah, oh, so you'll be fine. I'll give it ten minutes and you'll be. Uh, You'd be good to go, yeah. I'll be enjoying the game for once. I'm on my fifth Red Bull. <laughs> fifth? I'm gonna have a heart attack. Jesus Christ. I that wish. keeps running. That shit goes. I wish. Jesus it, Christ, it right does. now I'm leaving you. <laughs> <laughs> Catch you later. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, energy drinks do nothing to me, really. I, I drink them to try and keep me awake, but they don't actually do much. Pudge. I wish we had a pudge pick. I would love a pudge pick. I mean, everyone should make posters. Like the more everyone commits to this chat to this event, the better it will be. Because just think, if you've if you've got like all your posters, you're making it seem like your actual proper teams, that sort of stuff. Then it's going to get bigger and bigger each year. Because what we had twelve last year, right? Teams. This year we've got 18. I wouldn't be surprised if next year we get 24. Um, wow. We'll see. And we are attracting talent from outside our community. International I think talent, talent is a very polite way of putting it. Well, we had Hoxie Loxy casting the other night. Um, there's a special caster coming in for the playoffs. 
one of the playoff games. I'm not going to reveal who that is yet, but I've put, I've got them involved in it. Flew in all the way from Australia to be part of this. No, they're from America. No, me. Oh, you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, soups. But do you want to know who it is? That's going to be who should be doing one of the playoff games. Go ahead. Uh, um, El Capitan so. himself. Capcasts. Who that? Yeah, who's that? Dota Capitalist. <laughs> Dota Capitalist. You don't know who Cap is? No. Jesus Christ, do you guys not watch SVG? any... Do you guys not watch any Pro Dota? I do, but I don't know who Cap is. He's literally the co-caster with SVG. I know who SVG is. Yeah, SVG is the analyst. Cap is the play-by-play -play caster. Like oh, him, the American dude. Yes, him and like OD are like the tier one, top tier casters at the moment. Yeah, overrated. <sighs> Cap's fucking amazing, don't you dare say he's overrated. I will fucking you bang you both. They're gonna, they're gonna cast the game. Cap is going to be casting the game. Not very good. Yeah, definitely should have been a fucking tumbleweed. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <coughs> How did uh, you get roped into it? Cap. Yeah. I just dropped him a message, asked him, uh, basically he sent me, asked him if he's got an email that I could send a request to. So I sent him an email with all the details of what's happening, what we're doing, um, when the groups are, when the playoffs are, and asked if he would like to get involved. Um, had well to remind him, because it was in his junk email, because that's where most of my emails end up, in people's junk. And he fished it out. Had a look at it and went, yeah, we'd love to do it. Good job, Super. So, I mean, you don't... Like, take last year, you had a... Uh... Oh, shit, what's his name? Lizard? Yes. Lizard came Bosnia. Yeah. Cast. yeah, you had Lizard. All you got to do is reach out to these people. Because hmm. they all know Ted, right? And we're putting on... Basically, our own TI for charity. Yeah. So this is it's great publicity. It gets them more viewers because it gets their name out to potential people that wouldn't normally go and watch. It just it helps build the Dota community up rather than what normally happens, yeah. where we just and get I feel shat like on. There's already been one. There's the there's already been one last year. You have the president here. You like you can say, here's how much we raised last year. Exactly. Here's the website. Here's yeah. It's good. There's like a foundation now. And this is what I mean. The more we build on it, the bigger it's going to be. At the moment, we've got the website. Right, what's the next thing up? Jack's maybe working on statisticians on the stat side to get our own. Uh, oh, what are they call their own points system. Uh, Fantasy points. Fantasy points. That's the word. Thank you. The bigger we make it ourselves, the more we'll get out of it, and the more money we'll raise for charity. Mm. Alright, let's stop talking about interesting things, and look at the draft. Because we've got our fucking techies. <laughs> I love that. I, I kind of love Granny's Cookies draft. It's kind of... Uh, it's kind of dumb, but... <laughs> I, ho I hope it works. <laughs> You could sort of maybe get in there, Axe gets blank and Techies dive in and maybe Kongu can get some damage. I think this is a Butler Elk. You reckon? You reckon? Yep. Well, it's going to have to be a plus three Butler Elk thing, because I imagine that's a four hoodwink. No, sorry, a five uh, hoodwink. I think, I think it's going to be a midwink. A midwink? You reckon Beam plays at mid? Okay, that's the mid. Well, this is what happens when you win the first game. You're like, okay. Well, how now we how big can we troll? Stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Radiant definitely need a big hard carry here. 
Something which can I'd be... like to see a. Hmm. I don't like a deuce because deuce versus swashbuckle isn't great. Because that just means Pango gets defusal. Um. Hmm. Is your TB it? Turbo wouldn't be too bad. I would like to see a Muerta. Muerta? Yeah. Any particular reason? I just think she's cool. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> I would probably go for the Terror Blade for Grannies, or if you've got someone who could. Actually, there's two heroes that are actually currently there which haven't been banned out yet. Potentially, like your PL, or even a Naga. Five seconds remaining. Naga Siren might not be too bad. There's the Medusa ban. They don't want Roberta's having I that. I think I'd like to see a <laughs> Slark from uh, Radiant. Oh, yeah, Slark could be pretty decent as well. I think a Slark probably one of the better pickups. It's quite strong. Doesn't get a shit by yeah. Pango. Build and right is definitely pretty decent here. Now, if we're if you think this is a Butler Alchemist and a mid wink, that means it's a three Pango and a. Nah, I was, I, was, I, was just, I, was, I was just manifesting. <laughs> I think. Are we looking for an off lane here for them? No. So it's... I have no idea what their lightnings are. Alright, so it's a carry life feeder, obviously. Yeah. Now is it a mid-elk or is it an off-lane elk? I think it's a mid-elk. Okay. Three-elk, mid-pango. We're all in agreement, so life dealer carry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, that sort of makes a Slark even better now, because Slark dumps this life stealer. I, th I think Slark is the pick here. Yeah, they've not really much to stop him. In fact, they've got nothing that can stop him because everything is telegraphed very easily. It's a great Slark game. Pick Slark. Granny's Cookies, pick Slark if you're listening. If you stream sniping, pick Slark. I won't care. We won't report you, just do it. Just because I want to see Billy Nez lose. Big, big, mueta. Mueta. Oh, PL. Okay, so. I don't mind it. They just want to lose. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's not great into the pango. No. But other than that, seems seems alright. Yeah, yeah. So it's a bleak elk. So how's this gonna play out? You're gonna blink in with pineapple. Then in comes weaves with the. Suicide or Global Silence over the top to try and count anything, but then you're going to have at least four heroes pop BKBs. Or... It feels like a pretty bad silencer pick. Yeah, this feels like. First, first picking silencer is. No. The goons need to stop yeah. it. You really do. <laughs> I know I'm saying it like I'm not a goon, but I don't pick silencer because he's garbage. The hero's not good, he offers very little that cannot he's, be stopped. He's maybe going to stop a Pangu rule at an opportune moment, but Pangu's just going to... BKB and do it spot. anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I like the techies because it's a fun pick. That's probably why they picked it, because Weebs is a troll. Doesn't care what lineup it is, he's going to pick it anyway. Um... Well, it does offer a bit of punishment, potentially. Because it's, it's an Alk yeah. lane into a Phantom Lancer. I think the Alk actually wins that. Because of Acid Spray. Mm. My prediction should be that... Dyer will win this, their off lane, but they should lose their safe lane, I think. You willing to bet, bet your house on it? I don't have a house. Because uh, before, I, I'm just gonna say this is a uh, a Darwin. 
Oh, I think Dyer will still win the game. But how the lane should go, I think Radiant's draft would win the Radiant off lane. Dyer's draft would win the Dyer off lane. Mid. Kunko versus Pango. Should no, be a Pango. I mean, Lifestealer and Axe, I feel like the Lifestealer comes out on top. It depends um. how they play it. Because the armor from of the your cool plus your spin can bully a life stealer back. <laughs> Pudge. <laughs> Are they saying cap? Because they know cap. Wait a second. Oh no. Just because we see you. I can say that's definitely stream sniping. <laughs> But we'll see how it goes. Yeah. They might surprise us. Uh, hopefully, it's an interesting series again. Hopefully, it's a quick one. <laughs> Awfully an Alk. Whoa. I'm going to be watching this with great interest. Oh, they've got the acid spray. Let's get CS up. It's a weird blood grenade. Yeah, what's going on here? It's not how you use that, I know. Well, despite Dyer having acid spray, the lane's still pushed in towards them. So I don't think they'll be too unhappy with that. <laughs> oh, midwise, though. RSD sort of dumpstering. Being in mid. Oh, so I did say that Pengo was mid. Got that call. You did. Okay, so Bean might struggle a bit early game till he gets his bottle out. Shouldn't be too long. Uh, we've got. That's how you use a blood grenade. I've never used it one properly. I don't think. How long we just. Hit and hope. Oh, Bleak might be about to drop here. Getting low, but there's not if much mana left. If they had a blood grenade left. now, that'd be great. It I'm would. Do they have anything else? No mana left. Would have secured the... Oh, oh. oh. Yeah, would have secured oh. the... Skin of his teeth. Skin of his teeth. Oh. More damage on him. He's got the Tango healing through. That's not enough level one. And it does just feed himself away to Luke. I'm sure we'll both swap mine the uh, solo XP for a bit. I'm hoping he doesn't. Meanwhile, let's look at Bleak is denied himself to creeps. Intentionally or Unintentionally. Oh. Bleak <laughs> is absolutely <laughs> fucking plastered. Um okay. we feeling harassed so much that uh they've had to TP back to spawn. And do the walk of shame. Back. Oh, that's bad. If you got to do the walk of shame, that's always bad. The tar's it's under tar though, so um, yeah. They're not too upset about this. I mean, I'll still be throwing out those sticky bombs. They can f either take tank the damage or force out rage. The last thing to rage. stop with the old chat. Just pretend it doesn't exist. Ha. Yeah, Bleak, don't be too toxic, He is mate. speaking facts, though. He is, but there's a... You don't want to be a dick about it. Got to bear in mind, these are new guys to the community. They're not used to everybody yet. And what better way to introduce them? And to get them to leave instantly, then, introduce, then <laughs> play with Bleak. Well, this top lane, oh, in about two minutes' time, it's it's Jover, because the axe will have his vanguard. Yeah, the moment Notch is just not really doing it. And Bleak has just stunned Very himself. Very sad. <laughs> I feel like he could have gotten off that. Uh, 
reverse just Concussion. decided to be toxic. Uh, I think that no, I think that's just payback for the comment. Yeah, that's just punching down, isn't it? Per, per bleak is absolutely plastered. That's his own fault. Roberto's going to die for it, though. <laughs> He's giving a cheeky ping to Firefox. What are you doing? Why'd you let him do it? I can see something happening after this chat and drama. <laughs> if this guy. <laughs> Let's get the CS though, so that's decently done by a uh, Foxhall. Is Bleak going to die again to creeps? No, he gets these ones. Hoodwink is playing this lane a lot safer now. Yes, but is he playing but it like, too safe? Yeah, you can't really do like harass against this uh, axe. Yeah, like, not X getting a. Uh... Not getting an orb, orb of uh, corrosion on Hoodwink feels pretty terrible. You're doing 56 damage. Which just isn't nice. Well, I, s I sort of like and don't like the likes the build at the same time. Because I love the balls on it to not skill up rage against the techies. But at the same time, I don't like it because you haven't scored up rage against the techies. <laughs> Surely you want at least one point. Like that eighty percent magic resist is pretty nice whenever we have a blast off. It is. I think the reason he's not doing it is so that he can trade more effectively against potentially an axe, so he doesn't just get outright bullied. There's the point. Level five. Oh, thank God. Heart attack over. Yeah, CS-wise, we're fairly but this even. this Axe has his uh, Vanguard now. And I don't think there's much they do. No, they're just gonna... Run and... Oh, Axe, realistically, shouldn't it even be standing in this creep wave where it is now? I think this could be a death bottom. Yeah. A death bottom, you say? A yeah, that is Gertis. definitely a dead bottom. Dead bottom? Ooh. He all bit the dust. LDC has been doing great on this. Uh, L LDC season. has picked up a lot of uh, free kills here. Hmm. No. LDC has got a bit of a Marcy spammer lately, so the fact that he's actually got to play it two games in a row, he's probably very happy with that. Yeah, Think I really feel for this Borden lane. Like when you when you lane against a good Marcy, it can be quite punishing. Oh, you really I'm, have to I'm watch aware. your positioning. And what's uh, Bleak going for? Kunkka managing to survive on 50 HP mid. Time to go back to base. Oh, Jesus. Nope. No Pango roll? Nope. Just salving up. Pango roll was used. Oh, silence does drop. Oh. Big fight bot. PL trying to man fight everybody. He's very close, doesn't get it. Oh, but well done, LC techies, LDC. Techies, techies. Blast off, takes very out. Nice. I've got Kunker here. Kunker gonna pick up something as well. If he's got the spells for it, but he's got no X. He's got no X. He's gone full cleave in Tidebringer. Kunker. Very greedy farm builds that you. Yeah, there's it with. no team fight there, unfortunately. Just the one point in type and uh, axe gets you the kill. Spineapple does have to be careful because although he's got the vanguard, there's a lot of damage coming out from bleep from a uh, red shy because he doesn't really. The ghoul frenzy. Yeah. Oh, in That's comes him Bean. Dead. Bean snatches it. Kill steal. Report. Yeah, he deserves it. Kill stealing as the mid. <laughs> it's still a kill steal. That's your carry's kill. He worked hard for that. <laughs> All right, we are coming up to 10 minutes. Where are we at with the net worth? Let's have a little look. 
Okay, so planes have gone Dyer's way. They've won all three by the looks of it. Not what you want to see. Not what you want to see. No. Not an even game. And LDC just man fighting, not caring. Man fighting through, just bossing it. And he can. He's very sick. Getting, sad. getting the level six before. Does have, have to be careful. Does have to be careful. Oh, Ooh. doesn't give a shit though. No doppel yet. Oh, oh. LDC just pogging off here. Yeah, having that the, the level six on both of them is just. Oh, there's the return tip. <laughs> I think somebody's going to be get, getting called a cunt in all chat later on. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure who it will be, but it'll be one of them. <laughs> oh, we've got a setup in mid by Notshuke, waiting for them to come back. Kutit not coming off well. No, Arch come no, top, yeah. but there's two the coming And now the TPs are coming top. They need to get the fuck out very quickly. Yeah. Run, boys, it's run for your life. Pango rules still to be dropped. This, this so could sad, be huge. Six on the, silent, the boat was missed. Huge. Beautiful right blast off. Massive blast off into the bombs. Oh, there's one. There's two. They're going to get Bean. They're going to get. Who are they going to get next? Reg. No. The return. Bean. Pogging off with the swashbuckle. Oh, stay trying to keep him alive. Slowly I'm dropping. No PowerPoint. Just going to finish him. Oh, wow. Bean. Plus two. Plus two. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm loving this, this techies. I feel like they could really like... That, that's a good fact for Radiant. We didn't really need off. that. If they get some like... Or like if, if uh, Dyer play too closely. That, that fight's a 2k swing and then we've got uh, the PLs just struggling bottom right now. Yeah, it's hard to fight an acid spray against an elk. Rootit's coming down now. This In vision. I think this is more just a case of get away from this lane. We want our Robertus to farm. But they're coming down themselves. Here comes Bean. Marcy Bean does have up. boots. Who said Bean doesn't have boots? You lied. Arcane boots? Yeah. Teddy. Shocking. I think this hoodwink can uh, kill the Burris right now. I think anybody on their team could kill him right now if they spotted him. Oh, they he's, spot him. he's playing with fire. He's playing with fire. Oh, he's just oh. dead. Uh, oh no, they went straight the for weeps. They whiffed it. But there was silence. Pango oh my god, he's going to escape. Where's Pango? Pango might get him. No. He jukes, he jives. <laughs> there he goes. Uh, he drops down funny. eventually. But then I'm running through forage, trying to get for weeps. Point could be done. One LDC. Hoodwink's so low. Hoodwink is very low, 30 so HP does get away. LDC's be next. There's no follow up though. Didn't Good want to torrent. From being oh. Turn in two seconds of swashbuckle. This is just a bit of backwards and forwards, split up, just dropping one by one. But this is just a good dire fight. And this Alk is just going to keep getting bigger and bigger. Got the Vanguard, go for Maelstrom, into the blink. Pango, getting a Maelstrom, they're getting plenty of ways to get the uh, illusions dealt with. BKB coming out for Luke soon, 1k down. 1600, 2600 to go, ish. Another Maelstrom. They've got three Maelstroms on the go. If they don't go all five, they're pussies. I'm calling it. Luke, get a Maelstrom. Notch, get a Maelstrom. <laughs> Zap team. Weeb's having to use uh, Blast Off to try and escape. Does get away. Just. Ooh. Ooh! Sniper shot from downtown. But this is just Spineapple now and 
Well, Murtis has gone to the other side of the map. I'm just going to farm up there. Who do you reckon wins this if it goes late? Do you reckon the... Uh, dire. Dire. Do you reckon they've got enough to deal with Pang? To deal with uh, yeah. Pango? Um, yeah. Because we saw... I mean, pa Pang Pango Ags is pretty devastating. Speaking of Pango, he's got the roll up, but he's taking a lot of damage. There's the global call is whiffed. Oh, tower shots might bring down Bean here. Nope, spies for the skin of his teeth. Meanwhile, on the back line, we've got Bleak going Bleak man fighting. Oh, they're possibly going to bring down PowerPoint. PowerPoint's going to drop yeah. here. There he goes, but Luke's going to suffer for it. I think they the get end. LDC in turn. They do, oh, and now they're going to Bleak. Bleak's still got a good bit of chemical bridge left. He's being X'd back. Oh, oh what a great stun. Beautiful, but what have they got next? Another Twilight Storm doing nothing. He's just going to TP Chemical out. Ridge is about to Do they out. have any stun? Cool. Not on. No. Cool down. Nothing to stop him now. That's really well played from the league. Yeah. Meanwhile, up top, you've got Savage so doing whatever the fuck he wants. Got the Maelstrom going there, so. We've got a shard nearly coming out for. Uh, Arch D in mid. That'd be a nice addition. What science are going for? Straight for stuff. Yeah, I don't mind it. No, I think that's, that's the only thing you really can do in this situation. Um, Glimmer maybe might have been an option, but I'm not really sure what you're stopping. There's a lot of physical damage mainly from Dyer. I wouldn't mind an... Unfortunately, oh. I think this axe is going to be really sad because uh, he really needs a BKB. He needs, well, he's blinking. I think, BKB personally, and I would now. do the blink. I'd get. I'd say no to getting a blink. Silence is going to perish. Yeah. He does. I think ArchD might be long with him. Oh, no, they've got decent follow-up here. The call's coming the in. Disarm. Big fight. That's great play by Weebs. Get sniped through. Spot apple caught in the middle. Just going to be a man fight between him and... Uh, so Reg at the moment. Spine Apple. Ooh. Ooh. Donks prematurely. Nox is going to run away, but he has been axed. I've not seen a single boat combo come up yet from uh, Arch D. And it's not going to see one yet because in comes Bleak. That's three. Yeah, Robertus is Just not even started on the Ags yet. Well, he's got enough for the point booster. Ish. Now he has. There he's. It's going to take his time, but he might get there eventually. You cannot fight Lifestealer. Oh, meanwhile, look. Mid, they just destroyed Big Weebs. That's going to be a tier 1. Now, if Axe did have Blink, that would be a nice call. I'm probably resulting in two deaths. I think getting the fierce boots was a bit of a misplay. I think he needs the armor. You've got to against this lineup. You have to get the armor. Uh, I can he's understand gibby, gibby. it. He he's does. Gibby, gibby. Oh, this, this, he needs like three items to be actually be effective. Ideally, he needs blink, BKB, and blade mill, and he just can't function until he has all three of those. It would have been great if his sport had actually put a lot of stacks in the jungle for them. Yeah. So as soon as he got Vanguard, he could just fucked off and farmed them. Until he had like his blink. He's fucked the global. He has. Is Bleak just gonna walk away again? Wait for the torrent? And he's, st he's still got a few seconds of Calca Ridge left. This is a little bit sad. They're just trying to keep him back here, but they can't do anything with it. They got no damage. Your PL is not ready to fight. You cannot do anything. You cannot hurt people. You just have to run and hide for the time being, gentlemen. Farm away, farm away. And Don't. here is the uh, Ags coming on Pangolier. He just needs the point booster. And that's a lot of Ags, that's a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. Has he taken the right talent? He has taken the swashbuckle down range talent. That's what you want to see. So, we've got Maelstrom to complete on Alk. We've got Maelstrom, complete on three. Oh, 
PL in trouble here, but PL dead. He's just straight up dead here. He's not getting away, I don't think. Yeah, and there's a Desu arriving on Life Stealer here. There is. I want to see five eight Milstroms. I do. I don't know why. Oh, meanwhile in mid, they went on bleak, but just it did not work because he's got chemical rage up. up. Oh, that's free. Nice try, but no cigar on the dunk. In credit to Stinky's, oh, Granny's Cookie, sorry, they are putting up a fight. But I don't think this is uh, one of Archdee's most comfortable heroes. You know, he's not actually a mid player. He actually doesn't play, he's not actually a mid normal role. So. Well, that's oh. very tough. Yeah. He has done reasonably well playing mid in the last few. Bean, Bean is one of the mid players of all time in Gunji. And having to go, yeah, so I mean, having to go up against Bean, it's, it's hard enough as it is. Yeah. But they do take him out, so that is a good kill for. They are do have potential. I'm not sure they can chase those. They don't have enough to actually kill off the Alk at the moment. Well, they're going to try. Weebs is getting. In oh, a here comes the big fight. Big chemical rage, and out comes the stun. He's going to catch two of them. PL just trying to do what he can. Just going around the back lines. Gets an illusion rune. That's going to be oh, nice. No. Just get out. Just get out. Just get out. They might take down Luke here. Oh, not sorry. Notch does drop. They're going for three. There's a beautiful blast oh. off. Can they get four? Oh, yep. Be Reg is down next. And now, and now you can take down the Alk. Yep. Nothing they can do about it. Chemical Rage is out. That's another one. Yeah. Just in these fights. Oh, the oh Beans come back. Just left last. Nicely dodged. Sorry for the frames drops if anyone's getting them. Oh, is he going to finish yeah, off? Oh, that silence. Got to get out, Robertus. Got to run. Got to run. Oh no, he's been oh. caught. And he's dropped. They overstayed the welcome. Well played Notch. Good catch. But there is potential, that's what I mean. That, but but if we look at net worth, the life stealer is now falling behind. He is. Doesn't help when you die. Can't be farming. So what have we got coming out? So, there's nearly 3k sat on our resident Conker. I'm not sure what he's going to be getting. We've got the E Blade built for big weebs. It's the Ags. He's gone for Ags. I like it. I like it. I'm not sure how much I like it into uh, Rage. And uh, Pango rolling about Magic Immune. Uh, yes. But until they get their BKBs, because Alk isn't going one. Pango, yes, obviously has rolled up his immune. It sort of deals with the supports. Because it almost yeah. puts like a big AoE where they can't come near you. Yeah, but a Silver Edge yeah. does that. Um, I might prefer the halberd actually. Halberd over the ags. You stick that on the life sealer, you're basically fine. What I do want to see is one of these supports get a vessel. Why are we not seeing any vessels from the goons? They have an alchemist. That's because Sansa wants to get shard. It is. And Weebs wants to do this E Blade shot and bullet. Oh, Eves is a troll. We know Eves is, Eves is a troll. I love him for it. <laughs> yeah, no blink on axe, just going straight blade mill. I think that's the right decision. Oh, we might get a fight now. Robertus, they've caught him. There's the call, but the is there enough call. damage? There's not. Robertus is just melting. Beautiful boat coming in, but there's just no damage. The Pango is just shitting it out. It is. Although he is kind of trapped there. <laughs> Robertus actually made it out? Pango just Wait, shedding out damage. On? How is Robertus still alive? Oh my god. 
Well, that's What's the he doing? Oh, the Dukes, the Dukes. He's a gamer. Oh my god. Ah, <laughs> uh, he's got a drop here. He's got oh a drop here. There we go. Space creator. <laughs> yes, weeps! <laughs> yes, <laughs> weeps! <laughs> Fucking love ya. <laughs> if we do a fight recap, it is the, it's the Pangu just absolutely doing the business. <laughs> But in all fairness to the uh, Kunku, that is a lot of damage also. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Robertus, I mean, how did he not die? Did they think it was just illusions hitting? He was juking with the illusions he was sending out, like, yeah, he was, he was faking them <laughs> out. It was great. We do have a 9 second BKB on Morsi now. We do. And then like Crimson on Alk is pretty big. It's massive. Bashram Pangu is also pretty huge. What I would like to see from both teams, realistically, a AC on somebody. I think the Alk is getting on that. Uh, yeah. well, finishing off the I don't know. Who, I first. don't know who builds the AC on uh... on Radiant. Unless it's the Kunkka. Yeah, oh, Kunkka's big team Kunker. fight. Torrent Storm doing work. Good silence. But they've lost two. They might be about to lose half. There goes three. Pangu just shitting out the damage. Yeah. Yep. They do get a return kill. They have got two. Oh, Bean is out of there though. Can't do anything. That's an important kill. Oh, they do finish off the PL though. So, Roberta's really clawing this one back. Actually, a net swing for Radiant, despite the fact they got less kills, because that was a big yeah. kill on Bean. And most importantly, the XP on PL. Yes, he needs it big time. That's a full 5k on PL. Nearly level 20, which is going to be huge. There's a DD. Right at the bottom moon, gonna be left in about a minute and a bit. I wouldn't mind seeing Dyer grab that and just walk into Roche Pit. Because they've got it. Nothing they can do about it. Right, we just need Marcy to get a uh moon near now. Oh yes, uh, Hoodwink's gone yeah. for a glipe near. I really wanna message Luke and just tell him to get one. <laughs> Would I get told off for doing that? Yes. Oh, That sucks. I want to see this game go late, because we've got a lot of heroes here that can do a lot of interesting things late game. I want to see the Elk giving everyone ags. I want to see the Hoodwink just shitting out damage everywhere. I want to see Mine Sign. I mean, that, that's the point. Radiant do have very, not massive high ground defence, but it's solid if you think about it. You got the Torrent, you got Tidal Wave. Call, Torrent, yep. Tidal Wave, Mine Sign, Spamming it. Blast Off. Yep, all the Illusion Spam as well. Oh, they have split the map. Suddenly top, there's no one there. No, they're all bot taking that tower. Bit of the old Switcheroonie here. Just gonna trade towers. <laughs> we are getting a uh, glimmer cape irritation. coming out from Weebs now. Nope, they're gonna keep on going. Well, they don't need to come back. They need to. Well, they don't need to go back. They need to force uh, Radiant back. Which is what they're gonna do. And they've done this observer ward that I love. Oh, it's gonna take it's tier three in this time. Oh, I got the glimpse cliff off. Luke might pay the price. Oh no, he BKB'd. BKB. We got BKB. fucked up Weaves for it. Is paid. I think this is still a fight you want to take with the DD Pangu. It definitely is. It's a big call though. Where's the damage coming from? The call. illusions are starting to do work. Take out two, that three. That call was so important. Can they take down Reg though? That's a big life stealer. Not just going to try and get away. 
He's a speedy little fucker. He's just gonna TP out, he's out of there. Curse Pineapple, seventh on net worth, but that was well eighth on net worth, but that was a really important call. Doesn't survive to the end of the fight. Oh. Yeah, so that that just shut down the pango, like they they weren't mm -hmm. able to get the spells off. Was that that pango could not get his magic immune spells off and just ended up getting fucked. Shit. Could this be the turning like, point? Damage that back. fight. Pango went below a thousand five hundred. Yeah, Kanku just the, shitting it out. Oh, a real good spell. Yeah, Pango didn't even. He got nothing. But there's no blink on Axe. So how did Axe? What? He just waddled in. Just walking in. Just walked up. Okay. You've got you've got a Kunker with the title. That's true. That's true. And now you've and got. And whilst they're silenced, you have the opportunity to walk in there. And there's the Manta. Yeah, that's all done. I would like to see a heart on PL. Uh, I would go Scarly before the heart, I think. Just to... Uh, actually, would I? I, can't just, I get the heart, because obviously it makes sense against all these guys who won't be able to just disengage, heal up, go back in. Uh, oh, they know. They know. They know. Yeah, you know, the cheeky little swashbuckle doesn't do much there. They're just going to put out mines. Weeb saying, come on, come at me. Oh, here comes the Rolling Thunder. Global Silence has popped. Nobody else can get involved. But there's Spineapple about to drop. Weebs is being bashed down by Lifestealer. Here comes the Torrent Storm. Bleak just blowing up. There goes the silencer. So far, one for one. Life back. Stiller is just destroying everything in front of him. He is, now. but there's a beautiful blast off. There's yeah, one. Blast off. But Bean is low. This Bean might Bean. drop here. No, he gets off. He survives by. The Jukes. The Jukes. The Jukes. The Jukes. Weebs is too smart. Weebs is too smart. They have to go through. They can't stand and fight here. They know it. Yep. Don't do it, Robert. He's doing exactly what he needs to be doing during these fights. Like, going on the right people, uh, itemizing right. I just love it. Angu is now getting a BKB. This sounds too much for him. So, what I think Radiant did wrong there is they did not. So, Bean went on the back line, yeah, onto your Bean, onto your Weebs, and your Silencer, which is great. But then Pango committed that side as well, which left your Kunker and your PL to basically just destroy your back line. And, and they've got you got Spineapple just hanging outside the Roche pit. Just there's no blink. He's just stood there waiting for. He has blink now. On. It has arrived. Has, has blink now. But but yeah, um, just stood outside the Roche pit waiting to. You have to feel to for Spineapple top. here. Um, yeah, he's struggling. Really hard game. Really hard game. He's basically a plus four at the moment because Weebs is near for three. He's just a nondescript hero. Yeah. But all you need is one call. You get a call with a blade mail. Yeah, that's it's one call. It isn't even the blade mail. It's just the call to stop the pango. Yeah. Let the PL diff diff diffusal blade him down. I mean, you get a call on pango before he rolls. He's dead. Yeah. You get a call that's, on that's out. Their, their, that's their main damage output in the fight. I think you get a call on out before he chemical rages. He's dead. You get a call on any of the supports without BKB up or anything like that. They're dead. But at the same time, if you call, you're dead. Yeah. You know you're trading away your own life for it. But you can get away with it if it's. Because you're basically worthless at this point in comparison. Personally, I'm more than happy with that. I'm used to dying, oh. but if it wins me my team with life, I'm happy. I don't like this. I don't like this build from beautiful Reg. Maelstrom, Basher, Scardy, and now AC. I do not like that. I think if you're going for the Maelstrom, Scardy, you need something else to go with it, but not on AC, you need more damage.
Um, possibly... Didn't ever complete Dasu. No, he didn't. I wouldn't even mind an MKB. Because you, you know that he's likely to get... Someone's likely to get Butterfly, maybe. Yeah, there's the heart coming on reverse. Yeah, he's near, I've got it. They do melt the illusions pretty quick though, which is good. Oh. So Pango is going for the Shivas. And he's going to be six slotted. Just needs to upgrade his Maelstrom and the Basher afterwards. Kunkka has his heart. He's getting the AC next. BKB Alk, pretty big. Yes, yeah, so hopefully he can get it off because last. Last fight down by the Roche Pit, he just died to everything else in Torrent Storm. It doesn't feel like a 10k lead, does it? Feels like it's even. No, not really, yeah. It's just because of the PL, is just like such a huge factor in these fights. He's so scary. It's like, yes, your calls can, might be able to deal with him, but your supports can't. They're going to get murdered. Even though Axe is second to last on net worth now, I still like, like I feel like with this blink, if he can get a good blink off, um, and the, and the but the psychological like damage has been done already. This Axe yeah. is a yeah. beater. <laughs> I'd feel very sad if I was Axe. Now look at that. His the Kunker has just came and stolen that farm from Axe. <laughs> the Axe is having to walk away in shame, like the bitter offering he is. <laughs> Wait. Look at LDC's item queue. Yep, pretty spicy. They're looking, they're looking to make a move. Oh, and they might. They might. They might just get Roberta's here. He's still got Aegis. He has. Oh, nice That's call. Aegis down, but the rest of the team is here now. The Axe oh, getting that call. Oh, beautiful boat. Oh, that's, that's been sweet. done. And that's that one that's call. Support plus Reg. Reg is nowhere to go. He's just gonna fall here. Oh, ho, ho. That's so sad. I think the Axe deserves MVP this game. You've been fucking miserable. You've <laughs> sucked some ass, but you've won your team the fight. I thought you were about me then, until you said the last bit. <laughs> yes, I haven't been that miserable, have I? <laughs> <laughs> so... oh, he, he's had a rough game, and he's playing out the of roughest. his mind. Yeah. Remember, I don't do MVPs. What I do? Then you're muted. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I think it's important to quantify people's success. No, don't get me wrong. He's playing a godly game for how far behind he is. Yeah, those yeah. the every single fight that he's got this call off, they've won. Yeah. Bean hasn't been able to press his abilities. He decided to not get this BKB, and I think that's his downfall. He's just getting shit on by all these abilities. I mean, even if you got the shard, that would help a lot. Yeah. Because a lot of magic damage coming in. Do they have anybody with a pipe? No. Because... Bleak's gone god knows what. But they're just getting harassed down now. They're getting bullied by illusions in their own base. Here it comes. Don't have PTSD, and guys. Worth has gone back to, to even. It has. But it doesn't feel even. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> Feels like this might be the beginning of the end for, for the Dyer. One thing I've noticed. Nobody has any dust. Nah, that, does, that item doesn't exist in this game. Despite there being multiple glimmer capes in play. <laughs> it must be some kind of gentleman's agreement we weren't a uh, party to. Possibly. There you go. Oh, no Tormentor yet. Yeah, how do you deal with this now? He's going for the butterfly. And this could uh, come back to bite the guys in the arse if they're going for the AC. 
I don't think anybody's got anything to do with a butterfly yet. No, no one can deal with a butterfly. Does Pango Swashbuckle have two strike? Um, mm, I don't know. I don't think so. Oh, you can never miss attacks with it apparently according to the tooltip. Bit of guide. There we go. It's got. We say it's got two strikes, so the butterfly won't do much against that. But here comes the fight bottom. They're just going to get washed away again. Bean trying to do all he can, and but he's just getting controlled too much. Power point at the back line is being gone on by Alk, but it's not going to make a difference because here comes the torrent. He's just going to finish him off. There's a donk. And the donk! The first donk! Let's go. Is that the first one we've actually successfully had. It is. Another call, a good call. in. Not give another? him the dunk. Give Can him the give dunk. Another? No dunk. Yeah. He, What's that? No dunk, I think. Ah, oh, shit. Disappointing. Just the one dunk. But one oh, is enough. The -up. We've got only one buy back from Notch. He's brought back. But I don't think Robertus gives a shit. Hmm. If that's all your buybacks, this is Rax. If not, two lanes. Both of these games have been great. I I've loved it. Very even. Very even. Yeah. So many fights on a knife head. Span Apple, if you're watching this back, you've been an absolute champ. They just called it. I know you've you've struggled, and you've you've endeavoured to uh, to win your your team this game. It's over. GG. Whoa. Oh, okay. okay. We just get in the bin. Get in the bin. <laughs> but they both did play very well, like. They did. Like, both games were on a knife's edge. You know what the common factor was for both wins? Kunkka. Um, Kunkka. It's true. Just so much damage. Even like the Arch Arch D wasn't on the same level. Like the damage was still yeah. there. Like 30k damage. For a player who doesn't, I'm guessing he doesn't normally play Conquer, based on the combos, but still doing well. Unsung hero, I think. Uh, this pineapple. Well, no. uh, yeah, weebs. Unsung here, we didn't talk about it a whole lot, but that techies was just constant damage. Yeah. Some beautiful blast offs getting really multiple there, killings. Which is what you want to see. It was. And I know we talked about it in the draft, about this Sansa maybe being a bad pick, but it they didn't... picked the, the pango into it, and there was just a few fights that the silence went off, yeah. and Bean got cut out, and it's those, those few fights in the mid game that allowed. The PL to get large. Do you reckon? Yeah, because we're really relying on Bean for the damage in these fights, and then like. Do you reckon a lot of that though came down to Billionaire's itemization, only having BKBs on LDC and Bleak? I think if, if even Bean, as we say, gets a BKB, this game I wouldn't even hate it if um, Reggie got a BKB. I know life stealers have their built-in rage, but you can't use that while silenced. Yeah, or get like a Lotus Orb on someone, I don't know. Yeah, it felt like they tried to go too greedy on their supports, and yeah. it, it's cost them. Don't underestimate the, the silence. No. But yeah, well played by both teams. Get one all draw after that. Well, as they say, all good things must come to an end. They so must. The, the Goon International is continuing. Yep, uh, we are. Tomorrow. We are continuing tomorrow. The game's lined up for tomorrow. We have, let me just whip out the schedule. So, Saturday at. What's the first game? What's the first game? We've got two games at 8 o'clock Team Stray versus Too Hot for Dota, and Stinky Holy Warriors versus Goonfellas. And then we've got a game at 9 30, which is Bingus versus Hooligoons. And lastly, we have a game at 11. Team Spherical versus Stinkies. And, yep. 
some of them need casters. So I think Reg has signed up for I think the Stinky's Goonfellas one. I imagine Ted might do the Hooligoons one because I think is that Ashwins or is that Plagues maybe? Uh, I think one of them belongs to them, doesn't it? Wizards or something else? I know Hooligoons belongs to somebody, I can't remember who though. Yeah, is it? Yeah, That's GG it, yeah. Robertus. Well fought, good series. Yep, alright. Really enjoyable from our half. So, we will end on a high because that was a good series. Grumpy, Winston, thank you for coming along and joining me tonight. So, well, thank you for having us. Yeah, thanks for the email. I know it's been a late one, but the games didn't last too long. Spineapple, we are well aware you went 111 and 21, but it felt like you went like 30 yeah. zero 30. You okay. are my hero. Yeah, so Spineapple, your impact, your kills, your deaths, mean no meant nothing that game. Meant nothing. What, what mattered was you getting the calls off, which you did. Mm. That was the important thing. You did your job, which allowed Conquer to set up more stuns and Robertus to just clean up. In in future years, whenever uh, they're teaching the history of Dota 2, they will look at this as the perfect example of a pause 3. You just die, taking all the abuse. You die dying, for your team. Dying for your team. Alright, we will leave it at that. Thank you guys, and thank you everyone for coming to watch. And Cheers. I'll see you tomorrow. Actually, I won't see you tomorrow because I'll be playing, so I'll see you guys on Sunday. Best good of luck, morning, and good night. Good night.